Hello ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the reason I'm making this video is for those of you who use Hotmail. Um, many of you it's very easy to uh, switch to Gmail or create a new Gmail account. Uh, but I've been with Hotmail for, I don't know, a good 15 years, maybe more. And that's the email address that hundreds of people have. And, you know, it's, it's not something that I wanted to switch to. Now, my problem was that when I get my email, I use a, uh, an email client called Thunderbird. And that tracks all of my email accounts. Uh, right now, I actually have 14 email accounts that I currently track. And this way, uh, with an email client, you can download your emails and it can automatically, automatically sort them for you. Uh, just all kinds of features that I use uh, instead of using webmail. Now, my problem is I can't tell you how many times I've sat here waiting for an email that I don't get from Hotmail. And the reason is because their spam filters operate before it actually gets to your account. So what ends up happening is when I check my email through Thunderbird, the emails I'm waiting for a lot of times don't show up. And I wait and wait and I, you know, double check to see what's going on. And sure enough, I have to log into their website through Firefox. And it turns out that the email is in the spam folder, the one that I was looking for. So what I'm going to do is show you guys how to get past that because even though Hotmail has removed your option of disabling their spam filters uh, and I don't know why they do that, it's, it's retarded because no spam filter I've ever seen actually works as intended and that means keeping the spam out of your email box and keeping the emails you want in your inbox and none of them seem to work. So I don't know why um, Hotmail doesn't uh, allow you that option anymore but I'm just going to show you how to get around it and I do get a lot of junk because I just recently did this so I'm having to go through and, and unsubscribe from the ones I want mark them as junk block senders and all that stuff uh, after a couple weeks though my in inbox will end up being clear and I won't get all this junk <coughs> but even without the option this is how you bypass that you can select any message in your inbox it doesn't matter what kind of message you get uh, select because you're not going to actually do anything with that email but select one of the messages so that it shows up on the right and you're going to go to the sweep menu click that and then click on manage rules now I have already done this so I am going to delete the rule from mine ah uh, this is so frustrating hotmail is so slow hello oh, there it goes okay I've already done it so I'm going to delete it but I'm going to delete it so I can show you how what you're going to do is you're going to click on new and you're going to do the first box and select sender's address the second box you're going to select contains so you're saying that if the sender's address contains the at symbol and as you know every email has to have a from address and every email address has to have that symbol in it so you're going to make it so that if the sender's address contains the at symbol you're going to uh, select move to inbox right here under step two and then you're going to click save so because hotmail runs their filters before it gets to your box it's automatically going to send everything to your inbox so if you run an email client or you're tired of searching through junk folders well, guess what? You don't have to anymore because every single email you get will now go to your inbox. So, I hope this helps you guys because I use it for business and, you know, I don't know if you guys do too or anyone else does, but if you do, that's the way to get around their, uh, their control freak spam filter. So, I hope this helps y'all and y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.